what's up with y'all boy man now before we get to talking um right here in the background it's just showing me opening a lot of mystery packs because I, I spent like over 10 million training it might not be all in this video because i had to go back sell some stuff and then open some more but yeah i opened like 10 million plus training worth mystery packs and to make it short them up with trash we already know that though like i don't know some people be having great luck when they open these packs and stuff but mine they were just pretty mediocre y'all gonna see some of the stuff i put but yeah that's besides the point that's just in the background now we're gonna get into this mad 25 now i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all that played the beta that they sent out hella codes and stuff like that now i'm just gonna be jumping around from a lot of different stuff that i didn't you feel me seeing in the beta because i ain't really go in just looking for a lot of specific stuff i just went in played a few games played the cpu played a little mud played um like two play now game but if you playing the beta though the best way to really just get a good feel of the game or how it's gonna be probably playing against the cpu because to me that run the smoothest playing online you feel me it don't run as smooth as playing against the cpu on the beta online it's kind of clunky and it don't it don't run smooth at all compared to how the game runs like the game gonna be way smoother than that so yeah i don't really judge it yeah that's one thing right there too yeah we're not gonna judge the game based off the beta for real the only thing i'm judging for real is that some of the animations and you know little stuff like that i'm not judging the game based off how it's playing for real right now because that ain't how the game gonna play now i'm gonna get into a few things that i didn't notice as i was playing and some of the new stuff i've seen some of the stuff i don't like you feel me y'all already know leave what y'all think in the comments what y'all didn't experience with it or what y'all didn't seen so we can have a discussion about all that but yeah um first thing you don't need high ride master for the post and corner routes i know i'm pretty sure y'all probably heard other people say that because that's one of the first things a lot of people notice but that's actually great though i ain't gonna lie post in the corner them like two of the main routes you feel me niggas like to put on the field so they're great now the only downside to that is if you somebody that loves zig routes and c routes you ain't gonna be able to do those unless you got high route master i don't know about the c route i'm gonna have to go look again when i um, play some more but i know for sure you need high route master for the zig route i use zig routes a pretty good amount you feel me but not really unless somebody run it man you feel me that's the only time i really throw a zig on the field i definitely rather had a post and corner over that zig and the c route same thing like, i don't really use c routes for real unless i'm trying to use it as like you know c route not really like one of my main things so that's cool for me now another thing with the routes is they got the custom stems on there now for some reason i can't make mine work i don't know if it's just me or if some other people had that same problem or y'all know how to make it work but it don't matter what route i put on the field like a corner pose slant i be trying to use the stem thing i be holding the l1 i be tapping it i just can't get it to work but yeah that's um that's a good feature though i didn't see other people use it so i know how it works yeah that's a great feature though for sure now like i said i'm gonna be jumping around just off the top of my head or what i can remember now we're gonna go over the defense i noticed that match not on there and i'm pretty sure if it ain't on there now it probably ain't gonna be on there when the game drop but that ain't really a problem though because i was just playing i was just setting my defense up how i normally would you feel me i just wasn't able to turn match on but i did notice that them niggas were still matching though i ain't used zone drop you feel me i left it on default and i was putting certain things out there and they were matching like my vert hook running all the way up the field with niggas so i think match probably gonna be still in the game but you're gonna have to leave your zone drops on default which really don't matter you know what i'm saying that's how it was anyway so to be honest it really wasn't no point of even putting match on the game like as a setting because yeah you just leave it on default you got to have it on there anyway for it to work so yeah i noticed that now was the match working how it was supposed to i don't really know you feel me i was just playing like i said i ain't really trying to judge it too hard off the beta and it was kind of moving a little weird so i couldn't fully tell i need to go back in and play against the cpu more so i can really just pay attention to other stuff yeah that's what i'm gonna do but yeah i can't really tell if it was working how it's intended because y'all know man 24 match work but it glitched out a lot of times and you know stuff be happening so i really don't know about that all right so next thing is linebackers jumping how they used to and you know the older man now um if i'm wrong correct me but i think when college football reveals were going out and stuff like that i'm pretty sure they said on there linebackers gonna be able to jump you feel me i don't remember but if i'm wrong let me know so yeah uh i know that by college football now on this madden 25 i ain't really got the chance to see a linebacker jump for real yet i didn't call some picks but they were the type picks where like the nigga would have caught it if he couldn't jump or not for real like it was them type picks like that a linebacker would catch without a ability so i don't really know yet if y'all know you feel me let me know in the comments but um yeah and i, I was using a linebacker a lot that had lurk artists too i was like playing mud with fred warren i put lurk artists on that nigga so 
I really don't know about that. But being realistic though, they still got Lurker and Lurk artists in the game. So I'm pretty sure them niggas not gonna be jumping for real unless you got them abilities on them. Until I see a clip or I experience myself with them niggas, it wouldn't make sense though, cause why would they still have the ability on the game? But at the same time, they do a lot of stuff that don't make sense. So <laughs> we're gonna just have to see. But yeah, I ain't seen them niggas jumping for real yet. All right, next we're gonna talk about tackles, broken tackles, and hit sticking. Really not tackles, really just like hit sticking and broken tackles. So um yeah, y'all know I'm a fucking hit stick whore, my nigga. That's what they call it. I hit stick every time. I don't care if I'm on a DB that got a 35 hit power, my nigga. I'm trying to go for the hit stick. Now, you know, they got this new system where, like, you got to time your hit stick. So, every time I was, like, a lot of time I'm trying to hit stick a nigga, bro. It's, say, like, late, early, and stuff like that. And it result in a broke tackle every time, really, or probably, like, 90% of the time. But, yeah, we're going to just have to see more of that hit sticking. Because, um, yeah, it do result in a lot of broken tackles. And, yeah, like I said, majority of the time, it said mine were early or late. I made somebody fumble one time, though. I guess I did it right that time or something. But, yeah, I don't really know how I feel about that. Yeah, we're going to have to see more of that. But one good thing about that I can see right now is that it do put in a lot of more animations into the game. Like every time you miss a hit stick or you miss a tackle, you feel me? It look more natural. Like it's not very animation based. That was one of my main problems with like these newer Maddens when they switched over from like the PS4 to the P5 version. It's like all these damn animations, bro. Everything's so animation based. Like I don't like this. So with these new hit sticks and stuff and the way they be tackling, it do look more realistic and it feel looser. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you you really in that bit. But even besides the hit stick though, just broken tackles in general, niggas were missing a lot of tackles, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So I don't like I say, I don't know how to feel about that. Even regular tackles, these niggas breaking like two, three tackles every time, like they got freight train or angry runs or something. So it is the beta. I don't know what these niggas got the difficulty on, you feel me? I know it ain't the finalized game. So like I say, we're gonna just have to see about that when it drop. Now next I'm gonna talk a little bit about KOs or what I done seen now. When I was playing Mutt, I made sure to put like deep zone KO and like flat zone KO on a few people so I can watch them activate and see, you know what I'm saying? Are they OP? Like, are they gonna make these niggas drop the ball every time? And y'all know how them be. Now, like I said, I ain't just been studying the game and playing it hella hours a day. I've been playing it though. You feel me? Trying to gather a little information. I just been playing it casually. But um, I had flat zone KO on both of my corners. They react every time, you know, they throw it to the flat. That's what they're supposed to do. They reacting. And they overall are like 84, 85, so we got to keep that in mind. Like, unless you're playing rig and some people overall is up in the 90s and stuff like that, you're not going to be really able to tell how the game going to be majority of the year in the beginning because these niggas are very slow. they 85 overall, you know what I'm saying? So you can't really get a good feel. But, yeah, I had flat zone on both my corners. They were breaking down on the ball like they supposed to. They were knocking some balls out too. I had like deep ends on on um, my safety. They were knocking, you know, breaking the ball up, doing what they supposed to do. Now, one time, I remember a nigga threw like to his running back out the backfield on the flat, on one of my flat zone corners. He hit him soon as he caught it, but he did hold the ball. He ain't had nothing on his running back. So, yeah, he did hold the ball. So, I think that kind of might be an indicator that they might not be too OP. Like, they gave him the quick break on the ball, but he didn't knock it out that time, which was very surprising. But it is the beta, like we say. It could be intended for him to knock it out every time like it been. Or it might not be like that no more. So, I don't know. We're going to have to see. But, yeah, I don't really have a problem with KOs in general. Like, I never did. It's just that when the defensive KOs overpower, like, if I got flat zone on a corner and my receiver got short out and I throw it to my receiver, he catch it and he get hit as soon as he catch it. It's supposed to be 50-50 every time, bro. 50-50. That's how it's supposed to be. Now, if my receiver ain't got nothing, I throw it at the flat. He hit him as soon as he catch it. He should knock it out probably like 95 percent of the time can't be in real all right so i just went and played two games i played a mud game and i played a little bit versus computers just to look at some stuff i like the animation though i ain't gonna lie i see a lot of different animations tackling catching you feel me i like all that different animations it don't feel like i say like you're just getting drugged into an animation every time you make an encounter or you catch the ball and stuff like that now, that could be subject to change. I mean, a lot of stuff I said in this video could be subject to change, but you feel me? That's just for right now. Now, I did notice the body types. I went into the CPU game, you feel me? Like I say, it looked the clearest. It played the smoothest, and every, it ain't glitched out like online um, play now where everybody dark, like black with the number 11. And y'all know how I did, bro, if y'all been playing. But yeah, um, Jalen Hurts, I see his stands. That nigga stand exactly how he stand in real life when he finna hike the ball. And I can tell the difference between him and Saquon and body type. Like, that nigga Saquon look big compared to Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I know I played with the Cowboys. They got Dak Cadence on there. He's saying, here we go. Um, his stands look unique. 
I can tell the difference between a lot of their body types too. So that's one of the major things about the game that we have been missing is they, yeah, the way they look when they playing, the way they stand when they hiking it. You know, everybody unique in real life. Everybody don't look the same when they doing the, performing the same actions. You know what I'm saying? They did update the accessories too. They usually do that from game to game. You feel me? If people start rocking different accessories and wearing they stuff different. Cause I got tired of seeing certain players like Diggs and CD last year, you know, still wearing the one armband or some players still got the two armbands on like Brandon Cook when they wasn't even wearing that no more, you feel me? So it's good that they updated that and hopefully they can keep it updated throughout the season if people do start wearing different stuff, you know, majority of the time. But that might be asking for too much. So I'm just glad that they updated it as of right now. Now, this is the last thing I can think to speak of right now, and it, it is a major issue. It might be a major issue, I don't know. To me right now, it's kind of an issue is trying to hike the bar, bro. Now, like I said, everybody look pretty unique, and they got their own animation and stuff kind of like in real life. So I'm trying to hike the bar with Pat Mahomes, my nigga. He doing all this extra stuff. I ain't, I'm done calling my hot routes. I probably put like two routes out there. And he's just taking a whole extra like five, six seconds. I don't know doing what, just standing there and kind of moving and stuff like, I hope that don't be a problem, but right now it's kind of a problem for me. That's all I can think of right now. Um, in the comments, you feel me? Just drop y'all opinions and what y'all didn't experience playing it. Everybody not going to, you feel me, pick up on the same thing. And everybody not playing it as much as others and, you know, doing the same stuff. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments. We're going to chop it up. And keep in mind, bro, this is not the final game. Like, betas are never the final game. But I feel like Madden betas, out of the few games that do drop betas, like, for instance, Call of Duty. They betas be very similar to the final product. So you play a Call of Duty beta, my nigga, it's most likely going to play just like that. Maybe, like, you know, it's going to be a little updated, probably feel a little better, but they beta be pretty spot on to how the game going to feel. But Madden's, on the other hand, there, you can tell they'll be very, like, unfinished. So we got to, like, keep it like that. That's why I'm being very positive. You see me? I could be going in right now, but it is a beta, so it's a lot of stuff that you expect to happen, and the game not going to feel as smooth as it is when it's going to drop. But yeah, man, love y'all boys. Um, I'm finna go play a little bit more. And I'm still uploading this. Last of Us, if y'all ain't tuned into this series, I would advise y'all too. But I know a lot of y'all probably already played that game or y'all not just interested in that. So I understand. But yeah, it is a good game though. If y'all want to watch something else, I am uploading that right now. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm finna go play some more. Might make a part two to this. Depending, I don't know. We're gonna have to see. But yeah, I'll catch y'all boys in the next one.